I've seen something down on the next shelf here and I'm so excited to show you. Look at this gorgeous carnival glass iridescent clear bowl. I think I know what it is. I just have to check the mark. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. It's a Monday night tonight and we are at Goodwill. It's about 4.30, a little bit of a different time to my normal time. So let's go inside and see what they have. Looks like the color of the day is blue. I can see through the window here. And there's lots of carts, which means they're not too busy. Let's grab one. Oh, not that one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's make our way back to the hard goods section. And on our way, I want to answer a question that, that appears a lot in my comments. I get asked, hey, Tiff, there are a lot of things that we see in your shopping cart during your shopping trip that don't appear in your haul. What happens to them? Well, at the end of my shopping trip, I take a look through my cart and I look up the things on eBay solds just to make sure they're a good buy. If they appear too often on eBay and not sold or the price doesn't make sense to me, I pop them back on the shelf where I got them from. It just makes for a profitable business for me and I'm not buying things that don't make sense. Here we are in the hard goods. Let's see what they have. The shelves are quite full and I'm seeing this really cool shark here. I think it's a candle holder. He's very interesting. So let's pop him in the cart. Oh, no thrifting Vegas blanket. Have to fix that in a second. Look at all these ducks. Somebody must have donated their entire duck collection. I love this little cat. This is very vintage. It's from the 70s. And back here is an ashtray. I think this guy is Bloop. He's Bloop the Magic Mountain Troll. Definitely going to get that. Oh goodness, there's so many things on this shelf that I like. This is a little, um, I believe it's Elizabeth Arden trinket box. Let's get that too. I'm making a pile here. Let's have a look at this pink candle holder. Now, I don't think that's anything special. We'll pop that back. Let's look up here. Ooh, these little uh, geese are cute, but I love this baby duckling planter. He's almost got a Delft blue color. I think he's a project piece, a hobbyist piece that somebody did. I really like him for $2.99. So let's add him to my pile down here. And similarly with this, this looks like a Japanese piece. Three birds. They're really nicely done. Lovely color. Just a fun piece, very vintage. I think we'll get that one too. Okay. Look at these horses, they're fantastic. They're a gold color with a glaze over the top. I have my blanket in my cart. We'll definitely get those guys. What else do they have up here? Anything that catches my eye, that appeals to me, that I think, wow, that's really interesting. I'm probably going to end up with, because it, if it gives me that reaction, 
it tells me that other people are going to have the same reaction and that's when I can sell it. The shelves are really, really full today. That's exciting. There's some pretty German pieces down here. I like these, but unfortunately, they just don't sell too well for me. I have several in my eBay store similar to these, and I have a reticulated piece with the, the holes around the edge. And I've had them for a while, so for that reason, I'm going to leave these ones for somebody else. Just looking through the candle holders. It's an interesting pottery planter there. This has a Hager look to it. I found a sort of a burgundy color Hager piece a couple of weeks ago in a video. This is marked Hager. I'm not sure about that mark. It might be uh, a reproduction piece. And anyway, in white, these aren't ever so popular. So with that chip on the bottom too, I'm going to leave that on the shelf for somebody else. This is a lovely Portuguese piece, but sadly it's got a massive repair on the handle. The whole handle looks like it was broken off. I had a subscriber in the comments ask me to pick this up for her, so I will grab that in a second. I have just seen this fantastic vintage ceramic Persian cat up here and another one here I'm getting a bit overwhelmed here it's really exciting and a third little one <laughs> here oh my goodness wow let's put this with its little friend in the cart to start with and I'm going to have to make a bit of room to be able to get those other two cats and the little acorn canister in my cart. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I just took a step back here so I can show you how huge this gorgeous cat is. She's absolutely lovely, life-size, in amazing condition. She's hollow, so she's not ever so heavy. Looks like she's $5.99. Her little kitten here is playing with the ball of wool. She does have a chipped ear, but I'm not going to leave her behind. Here she is. She's beautifully done. She does have a little bit of a chipped ear too, but I don't think it matters. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Not quite sure what this is. Pioneer Pet. Oh, I think this is one of those cognitive pet feeders that uh, challenges the pet to get the food out of it. It's a little trinket box here. So made of resin, there's some canisters, some platters down at the bottom. We're in the clear glass section. Some trinket boxes, bowls. This is a vintage cruet. It's one of a set that would sit in a rotating, usually um, uh, silver plated uh, little um, holder. Sadly, there's only one and the top is very chipped, but that's what that is. Let's see, swans here. 
that's very heavy let's see if it's marked I'm looking for an etching on the bottom don't see anything there there's a smaller one back here possibly princess house let's see what's that say lead crystal I think I'm going to pass on those this is a little Avon bottle aftershave yeah sadly Avon doesn't sell too well still I'm sure it'll come back eventually oh this is a Seymour man uh, little floral basket for $2.99 it's his rose design can't really get my camera to focus there we go let's pop that in the cart I really like those roses Capa de Monte style just want to have a quick look at this canister not vintage I'll leave that now we are in the holiday section just have a look see if anything catches my eye lots of Easter eggs fall and Thanksgiving on this shelf huge st. Patrick's Day leprechaun there more Easter little bags of bunnies here lots and lots of those little made in China pieces they would be fun for an Easter egg hunt plastic eggs let's pop around the corner here just seeing these squish mallows Danny the niche lady my dear friend found some huge ones of these the other month and they sold quite well for her but I'm not sure how these tiny ones do plush is not really my niche so I'm going to leave those well it definitely looks like they're keeping the Christmas aisle stocked I think they're going to keep it going all year long it must do quite well for them I have no complaints about that because Christmas sells really well for me all the time let's see if we can find anything unique and fun here Ooh, look at these little penguins and trees they're bath and body works I have to give thanks to my friend Alex at chapter 2 vintage she told me to keep a lookout for bath and body works pieces because they can be really collectible and I have a feeling that I just hit the jackpot with these two let's carefully get them in the cart over here I'm going to have to do my little omelet fold with the blanket bear with me what a great idea that was thank you to my sweet subscribers who suggested that that way I have a whole another layer to put things on there we go let's keep looking here it's so exciting you just never know what you're going to find it can be quite overwhelming that's why it's always a good idea to have two goes round come at the aisle from both sides that way you can be sure you're not going to miss anything lots and lots of Christmas little trees and tins if you're a cookie baker and you like to give away cookies at Christmas it's a really good idea to pick up cookie tins from Goodwill all year long that way when the season comes you're all stocked up and ready to gift your cookies lots of cards I always have plenty of cards on hand wrapping paper 
somebody's abandoned cart here. I wonder if they're coming back. Let's scoot it out of the way a little bit so we can see. Some stocking holders. It's a fun cookie jar. David's cookies. These sell for maybe $20, $25. For me, it's n just not worth the hassle of packing and shipping, something like that. Some figurines here, Santa, ribbon. You could be completely prepared for this Christmas by February. <laughs> Christmas tree stands, lots of those. Oh, look at this little doll. He's quite interesting. He's got a very fancy suit on. He's really nice. For two dollars, I'll take him. Little plate that could be used as a trinket dish or a candle holder. Lots and lots of mugs as usual. Travel mugs. Ooh, some jingle bells. Glasses. Lots of mugs. Lots of plates and bowls and dishes. I've seen something down on the next shelf here and I'm so excited to show you. Look at this gorgeous carnival glass iridescent clear bowl. I think I know what it is. I just have to check the mark. There it is. That S tells me that this is vintage L.E. Smith. Can you see that there? The little fancy S. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that sawtooth rim. Let's keep looking because when you find something like that, you never know. There might be another one close by. I'm just popping this carefully in the cart. Let's look down here. This is a cute little candle lamp shade. I think it's by Carlton Cards. I'm going to pop it in the cart, but it is missing its base. So I'm not sure if I'll end up with that one. Let's keep going over this side. These shelves are a bit empty down here. They're possibly going to be restocking soon. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything else here. I think I've looked at this one before. Yes. Just a few bits here. That's a modern edible arrangements bowl. Some florals. So we're in the metals now, platters here, all sorts of racks and baskets. Oh, look at this. This is a silver plated napkin holder. You could also use it for little letters or cards. I think it's Godinger. It's $2.99. It's a lovely piece. It would clean up really sparkly shiny if you wanted it to. Let's get that. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. Lots and lots of metals as usual. Candle holders, racks, bowls. When I organize my home office in a few weeks, 
I shall definitely come here and look for baskets for my pens and labels and stickers. Lots of tins here. a sign up here let's see what this says here we are in the mugs and I just wanted to pop down here quickly because these glasses caught my eye they're really fun and interesting but sadly not vintage, which is what I was hoping for. Let's leave those and have a look to see what else they have. Lots of sets. These are pretty. If you ever need glasses, do take a trip to your local Goodwill because you can often find exactly what you're looking for for a song there are so many here all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors and if you're lucky you'll find a set of four or even six sometimes Oh, I do love these little vintage juice glasses, but unfortunately this one has a massive crack on the side. That is such a shame because I would have loved to have those too. These are also amber, but they're just a little brutalist for me, so I'll leave those for somebody else. It's quite a bit of empty shelf space, which is exciting because it means they're going to restock soon. Pabs Blue Ribbon glasses. They sell in about the $8 range. Let's see. Not really seeing anything else that catches my eye. Just popping back up here to the mug section to have a look. Ooh, look at this. I love this speckledy finish. It's very vintage. It's got a fox on it. Churchill, England. It's got grandma. No chips on the top. Let's get that one. What else can we find? All different mugs, lots of those. Looks like a restaurant donated there. Oh, look at this. This is a lovely little hoops and yo-yo cartoon mug really fun it says caffeinate me and there's a little fellow with a balloon on the inside let's get that we'll see if there's anything else These Gibson modernist ones are still there. This little cup has its own sweater. <laughs> little crocheted sweater, that's lovely. My friend uh, Yvonne Thrifty Rich loves these little happy face yellow mugs. There's another one down here. They used to sell quite well for me, but just lately they've been sitting and uh, not so much so I think I'm going to leave these for someone else here we are 
in the kitcheny bits. Let's see what they have. There's some Sunday glasses here. I did love those cobalt blue ones I found the other week. Those sold really quickly for me. This is a sweet little teapot. This is Teleflora. It's lovely, but sadly, the resale value just isn't there. This, on the other hand, is fantastic. I love this turned goblet. The wood grain is fabulous. And this would make a lovely restoration video where I can coat it in mineral oil and see how it comes up. Look at this little creamer back here. The colors are amazing. It's yellow with a drip glaze of blue and green and purple. It does have a little something going on there, possibly like an air bubble of glaze. That could probably be sanded down and fixed. I just really like the colors with the light green inside. And that bubble is a bit odd, but something could probably be done with that. Let's get it in the cart. Don't forget to look down low and up high on the shelves, all the way at the back. If you see something that looks interesting, pick it up, feel its weight. You can tell a lot by feeling the weight of something as far as quality goes. It's a nice white teapot. This is cordon blue. That doesn't really have a lot of resale value. Although it's a nice simple design. Nice big bowls here. Some coasters, that's interesting. Let's see. Really lovely big apothecary jars there. Those would be terrifying to ship, wouldn't they? <laughs> it's a view of the aisle there. I think they're getting ready to restock. There's some canisters. Oh, that was that's tin. I was expecting it to be ceramic. Quite a nice water pitcher there. Portuguese. And these aren't moving ever so well for me. Uh, perhaps closer to the summer they will. Lots of canisters. Another little teapot there. Pots and pans. Lots of pie dishes. It's a tortilla warmer. Those are always really handy to have. A scale. Little napkin holder here. Travel mugs. More saucepans. Oh, look at this basket. A lot of people now are putting these on the wall in groups and they look really, really nice. I've sold quite a few of these. This is a nice condition, just maybe one little scuff at the edge there, but that's barely noticeable. $3.99, let's get that. Let's see if there's anything else in the miscellaneous section. 
Lots of baggies of odds and ends, flatware. I like to take my thumbnail shot in the plastic style because it's bright colored. And I just noticed at the end here, there's a Pirates of the Caribbean plastic mug. This is really, really a great piece. Very collectible. Disney, oh, but $8. Yeah, that's just a bit too steep for me based on the resale value. So I'm going to leave that for someone else. Let's take a walk around here. See if there's anything in the plates and dishes. It's a little cup here. Quite a nice pottery. Okay, that would only do well in a set, I believe. So let's leave that for somebody else. Just having one final walkthrough and I can't believe I missed this. It's a gorgeous beaded copper wire bonsai tree. Look at the detail on this. And it's on sort of a, uh, an onyx look tile base. The amount of copper wire used in this is fantastic and it's really, really heavy. It is $14.99, but it's got an artist sticker on it, Maggie McBride. And I think I'm going to get that. Taking our usual stroll through the frames and the artwork just to see if there are any vintage pieces, any originals. Any bits of furniture. I'm actually looking for a little, very narrow um, entry table for my new hallway. It can only be a few inches wide and probably about four feet long. Kind of an obscure size, but you just never know what you're going to find in Goodwill. It's a little Disney, I think this is Ariel piece there. I don't know how to put her safely. She seems to have come loose. Let's just pop her gently down here. Not really seeing anything else, mostly modern pieces, modern frames. Some mirrors. I'm also on the lookout for a massive mirror. It has to be huge. I need to get the measurements, but probably about 55 by 80, I think, to go in a niche in my new hallway. No, not seeing anything here. Last time I was here, I had great luck in the purses. I found a brand new Patricia Nash um, oxblood color crossbody that retails for about $160. So I am going to have a wonder down here, past the shoes, into the purses, and see if there's anything else. They have a lot of purses, there's no doubt about that. Let's have a look. Oh, 
This is a Vera Bradley. It's a little crossbody. It's got a front pouch um, with card holders in it. It's $5.99. It's really sweet. I think I'm going to take a chance on this. Here on my table is everything I found at Goodwill as well as a few pieces I forgot to include in my last haul. If you'd like to purchase anything you see, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and the prices I mention will be the prices I'm asking, plus shipping to your zip code. Bandit is here having a bath on his favorite blanket. Hi, B. Hi. He's getting very used to bear and all my pets I think are going to become really good friends. Ziggy is a lot braver than Bandit. Bandit's still a little tentative but he's very interested and Bear is just very anxious to play. His tail wags and uh, he just wants to be friends. I love this vintage cat. He's a huge Persian. You can see his size next to Bandit. Pretty much life size, if not a little bit bigger. He's absolutely fabulous. I believe I paid $5.99 for him. He's from the 70s and somebody um, painted him and uh, had him glazed I believe the same with this little one here and I actually think all four of these pieces were done by the same artist the two little ones are signed on the bottom let me see if I can show you this one let's peel the sticker quickly there we go. They all say Mary, uh, 1976. So they're really nicely kept, definitely vintage. This one's a bit grubby on his head there. Needs a bit of a wash. There's two small ones I shall ask $15 a piece for. They were 99 cents. This one, he has a bit of a chipped ear here, as you can see. But this one I shall ask uh, $40 for. And this one I shall ask $80 for. I'm hoping that somebody local in Las Vegas uh, is watching this and is interested in purchasing and picking these up because I'm very hesitant to ship them. They're hollow and uh, they will require an oversized box so shipping, shipping won't be cheap next we have this gorgeous Vera Bradley crossbody purse I just love the pink design the flowers and the best thing about this little crossbody is it has one of those wallet pockets at the front where you can pop your cash and your cards and your phone for easy access. It's perfect for thrifting, for garage sailing. It has a back pocket there and the main zippered pocket. Perhaps I should have unzipped this before I started. There we go. And it has yet another zipper pocket inside. I paid $5.99 for it and I'm asking $25. This is a little snow figure. I don't think he's too terribly old, but I just loved his outfit. The label says Phonics Custom Creations, possibly. He's got a lovely little outfit with a belt and a bubble hat. 
paid a dollar ninety nine for him, and I shall ask fifteen dollars. I was really excited to find this gorgeous L. E. Smith iridescent carnival glass bowl. Let's hold the bowl up to Bandit and show you the S. Can you see that S on the bottom there? There it is. That's the mark for Ellie Smith. It's in perfect condition. It's beautifully iridescent carnival glass. Again, it's a bit mucky and I shall give it a wash. But that pearl, pearly, pearly iridescence is gorgeous. It would be beautiful with some grapes in it or some Christmas balls or for any holiday. Valentine's Hearts or St. Patrick's Day. Pop any uh, anything you like in there. Trinket dish. But those colours, the pearly colours are just gorgeous. I paid $4.99 for it and I shall ask $25. I love the finish of this mug. It's sort of a speckled pottery. It's Churchill of England, their homespun line. And there's two little foxes on it. And the top says Grandma in that lovely vintage script writing. So just a lovely mug. I paid 99 cents for it. And I shall ask $15. I can't really tell you why I was attracted to this little milk jug. It's not in the best condition. It's got a little floor at the top here that could possibly be shaved down and coloured in. It's green inside. I just love that drip glaze and the colours are absolutely gorgeous. The yellow with the green, the green and the blue and the burgundy just really pretty and it was actually 35 cents because it was blue tag 50% off I just really liked it and I shall ask $15 for it so this is a character from my childhood bloop the magic mountain troll he's so fun magic mountain is a amusement park um, the one I went to is in California and it's a ashtray it's in really good condition I paid $3.99 for it there's some a couple on eBay in the neighborhood of $30 and I shall ask $25 for it this little cat is a vintage Elizabeth Arden candle it's got two wicks in it, it's scented. And if you didn't want it as a candle, what you could do is pop the base in the, in the freezer overnight and then very gently pry out the candle and uh, it should pop out without too much trouble. Then you have a little trinket dish. Let me show you the bottom here very carefully. He's got a lovely floral design with gold trim. As you can see, he was 99 cents. Let's peel that sticker off. There. The design is Chelsea Gardens. Made in Japan exclusively for Elizabeth Arden. Paid 99 cents for him. I shall ask again. $15. This guy is a silver plated either napkin holder or you could use it for letters. I believe it's a Godinger piece. I paid $2.99 for him and I shall ask $20. This is going to be my next project piece. It's a wooden goblet. It looks to be hand turned. 
really nicely done I just love that knot there the pine knot in it but unfortunately it's showing signs of cracking at the top here so I am going to give it my mineral oil treatment and take you along just so I can show you how it comes out this is a gorgeous basket a lot of folks right now are putting these up on the wall several of them together to make a lovely display unfortunately this one does have a slight bit of damage on the edge there here and there was one other little spot I think just a couple of little spots of damage it looks like it was twisted but uh, other than that it's in lovely condition lovely flower design it was $3.99 and I shall ask $15 I love this mug. This is Hoops and Yo-Yo. It says, hey cutie, could I get a refill? <laughs> it was 69 cents. <laughs> and I shall ask $15. I love this planter. It's a little blue duckling. He's got such a lovely face with long eyelashes. He's quite old. I don't know if you can see the crazing there, some quite significant crazing, but for me that just adds to the character of the piece. He's got a little mark here, it looks like a duck foot, I'm not sure if that's significant, I haven't seen it before. I paid $2.99 for him and I shall ask $20. Staying on the bird theme in blue. I found these, I think they're supposed to be either herons or some sort of water bird. There's three of them, a mum and two little babies, I think. It's quite vintage, was marked with the original price sticker of $1.49. I paid $1.99 for it and I value it. I'm going to ask. $20. Back here we have a gorgeous galloping Mustang statue. I was really excited to find this. The detail is absolutely stunning here. Two Mustangs, they're just racing together. Really lovely gold finish. It's glossy. The sticker on the bottom says Golden Oriental Baskets and something else I can't read with an address here in Vegas. I paid $3.99 and in my research there are quite a few of these online and they range from about $50 all the way up into the hundreds. But uh, this one I shall ask $45. One of my subscribers had left me a comment asking me to pick up this lovely canister with oak leaves and acorns on it. It's got an acorn on the top. It's a really nice piece for fall. So if that person would still like this piece, I paid $2.99 and it's going to be $15. Take a look at this amazing copper wire beaded tree. I believe it's all hand done. It's on a tile base. It looks like a bonsai. See how the roots are all twisted in the wire? There's so much work gone into this. It's just stunning. I love the green with the pink and yellow flowers. It's really, really, really heavy. And again, in my research online, 
Now these run anywhere from 50. I found a similar one listed on Etsy for $300. But if you're interested in this, drop me a line and shoot me an offer. And uh, I would love it to go to a good home. This beautiful basket is a Seymour Man piece and it's in really good condition. I can only find one little floor, one chip to the Capa de Monte. It's right here and you can't really even see it because it's hidden by that upper leaf. Actually, I think, yeah, a little rose is missing here. But that's the only damage to it. It's a lovely piece. There's the bottom. Jolie Fleur Bone China Seymour Man. It's made in the Philippines. I paid $2.99 for it. And because of that damage, I shall... Where is it? There it is. That missing rose there. I shall ask $15. But what you'd do is just turn it around and display it that way, wouldn't you? And it wouldn't even be noticeable. This turned out to be my sleeper, my find of the day. And I credit Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage with um, giving me the heads up, the bolo, the be on the lookout for in these. These are little soap holders, I believe. And uh, they're made by Bath and Body Works. Their original price tag is $12.50 each. Little penguins um, in front of a tree shop, Christmas tree. And these are listed on eBay for $30 a piece. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> So I was a little remiss last video in forgetting a couple of things. This gorgeous Patricia Nash purse, it's a crossbody purse in new condition. It has its original tag. It retails for $160. I paid $8.99 and I'm asking $75. This is a cause light beer mat for your bar or your man cave. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to ask $20. And I have one more great thing to share. Stand by. A couple of weeks ago, you saw me thrift this gorgeous Japanese, what I thought was a trivet. It's a tile mounted on a wood base. It's from Japan. And you saw me restore it with some mineral oil back to a beautiful, rich wood color. And one of my subscribers suggested to me that it actually isn't a trivet. It's the base for a cloche. And would you know it, I actually thrifted the cloche and I was looking for the base, but I was on the wrong track. Didn't even realize it, but look. Ta-da! That's exactly what it is. So thank you, thank you to the subscribers who suggested that. It is now a gorgeous, gorgeous cloche with a base. And I actually had a couple of people interested in, in purchasing this. Um, I'm going to take first come first serves, but it is now going to be sold as the base and cloche like this. So I'm going to reach out to those people to um, check back and see if they would still like it. Ziggy has joined us and he is thinking that Bandit needs a bath here. <laughs> Again, if you are interested in any of the pieces you see, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. The prices I mentioned are the prices I'm asking. 
Uh, unfortunately, we are still between houses. We're still moving. Our bathrooms are almost finished. So I ask you to please be patient with me. My um, organization is, uh, is a little crazy, but I'm doing my best. If you would like something, I will definitely hold it for you and invoice you and ship it to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.